so as you can see it is now done well almost done not completely done because i still gotta solder a new piece right on to here as you can see you missed the camera that piece right there it's broken and the thing doesn't fit anyways so i gotta get the piece from the old one of these and solder it on um, so I'm gonna get a soldering kit anyways. My dad's buying one for my electric drum set. Cause he needs one since there's bad soldering on it. So he needs to fix it. So then I'm probably gonna use it for this too. And that'll be nice cause I really like this RC car. And I'm planning to make it one of my best. Although I'm never changing the shocks out. Cause that's what me and Venture from VT Mods decided. You'll probably, uh, you saw him in the beginning part of this video. Here's the other person in the time lapse. The person with brown hair in the time lapse. And he was kind of helping a little bit. Anyways, so the thing is, we don't want oil filled chalks on it. Not because those aren't better, better because they are. It's just. That was the plan. We were, we were trying to do the ch a challenge where we can only do spring shocks. And we're trying to make it the best RC car that has spring shocks. And this thing is so tough before it's even modded. Seriously? Person rolling with a bike over it? No mods. St completely stock. Not a scratch. Just rode right over it. He wasn't even riding fast, too. It was like a slow painful crush like he was trying to torture it or something um it's not his fault though it's totally not his fault because well i accidentally rode my or drove the ic car under his bike so it's kind of my fault he has stopped playing with suspension it's so much better than before because before it would bounce around now it bounces a little bit but not too bad it's kind of acting like oil filled shock because the bigger tires and wheels they're way bigger than the original ones. The original ones are about, well, the wheel and tire combined are about the size of the wheel on this thing. So, yeah, big difference. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way to the ground. I'm going to zoom in on that. Okay, suspension's all the way down. See, it's not touching the ground. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the suspension is not touching the ground. So it doesn't have as much... Uh, it has still just as much travel, just it doesn't hit the ground. I might put better arms on it. I might not. I don't really care that much, but I'm going to make this thing strong. Like, when I say strong, I don't mean just like, eh, it's going to be able to survive a, a few jumps. This thing was able to survive a few jumps before. I'm going to make it so it can survive... Big jumps. Huge jumps. The only downside to the upgrades is when I did it, it's no longer waterproof. Because there's all this exposed wire and stuff. So, I guess I wasn't really planning to drive it across water anyways. I'm probably just going to do like crazy jumps with it and just mod it even more. You'll see more videos. And Venture from VT Mods help, um, was helping me with this. So, we had a good time doing it. I know I already said he wasn't really helping that much, but he helped a bit. And then, we we're going to put the tiny rolls on this on a, my big Traxxas Slash, but that didn't work. Different hex size, so it wouldn't work. Anyways, pretty cool, all in all. Not much else to show you. The ESC could fit right there easily. Got to trim the stuff down. That's about it. Also, I gotta trim the body case. So, see you in the next video. I'm Tyson from VT Mods. Have a good day.